ride the slide? Here is another Yeti that we have to flame to free. Not kill them with a, a cannon because or a turret. <laughs> that would be good. Uh, guys are from. Those tricky Rick talks caught me off guard, Spyro. Many thanks for your help. Much higher quality and textured version of the Yetis from. Uh, you know, I mentioned this in the last far, the last far, like. Last part was like 27 minutes, so yeah. Okay, I believe those uh, floating platforms over there uh, are leading to our first uh, challenge area, if I remember correctly. Hello, Spyro. I made this rocket for a fireworks display, but I can't seem to light it. Please tell me, can you use your flame breath to light the fuse? Nope. No, I'm not even kidding. This place freaking froze me over, guy. I mean, seriously, this is like sub-arctic temperatures, man. Chills the, the, the hardiest dragon to the core. Okay, that uh, goes over there. And now a whirlwind should appear behind us once we go back there. Cheerio, Spyro! That's a good dragon! Better be a whirlwind. How am I supposed to get back? <laughs> okay, shortcut. Obviously. Hobart. Crystal, your name is Crystal. Uh, if I'm anywhere close, I'll be amazed. Because actually, I'm probably Damsel. Hey, it's Damsel. Uh, it'd be fitting for this level. I was just trying to remember based off my prior experience of this level. Maybe there's a dragonfly named that. Who would name a dragonfly Damsel? Oh my god, man. Told you before, uh, you freak me out when you walk on the ice because that's something you shouldn't be doing. You should be sliding off and falling on your ass. We'll go up there. Uh, first, we'll finish this path because there's something of interest, I'm sure. No, I'm not going to say anything. Okay, apparently, wow, that's cool. I don't even notice this area. So that, that's actually kind of cool. There's a, there's a, you drop down here to the original starting point. Then up here you drop down to that area. Then that, it's kind of weird how they do that. It's like... All right. Let's go ahead and go to the first challenging area. It's the, uh, the another slide level. Fun stuff. Youch. Youch. I'll keep you waiting for the rest of the level because we will find out what that rocket does soon enough. I'm pretty sure it breaks the ice. Iceberg thing, but... Welcome to our ancient slide, Spyro. 
Get to the bottom before time runs out. Sliding between flags will give you more time. If you can make it to the bottom in time, I'll have a special prize for you. Ride the slide. No instructions needed. It's pretty self-explanatory. Penguins from Crash Bandicoot 2. Or a club penguin if you can grab them or whatever. She missed one. Bum 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 I'm not gonna make it, am I? Ever fear a spiral? I probably won't suck here. Oh, come on, I can't use my flame breath. say here this this just uh, ancient it's obviously ancient so well, look at all these walls around here it's like a, a, a foreign a, a previous civilization lived here there's like a, there's like transparent crystals in the floor which I can barely see that like that you know I mean, that's not really that fair in my opinion and I'm running out of time I'm not gonna make it I get both messages, I guess. That's so impressive, most impressive. But you are not a slider yet. Would you like to try our peaceful slide again? How is that any way impressive? I don't. I don't know. I got. I got stuck on a penguin. I got stuck on your annoying, invisibly painted uh, crystals. Like you painted a visible spray on them or something. Spray painted them. So, uh, very small uh, flags uh, are for. Well, give you three seconds, but. Uh, impressive. Most oh, there's impressive. two. They're not colored different. I would have put one with the yellow color on it for two, and then the green color for three seconds, but whatever. They might be, no, they're, they're both green, so that's an odd thing. Uh, but a lot of video games do this. I know I know. Uh, there's a level in Crash Wrath of Cortex that uses uh, sliding through flags like this. It's basically skiing, of course, so it's not really... And then there's uh, a game I actually played recently. I like how everything links together, but... Uh, we, we played uh, 102 Dalmatians, uh, Puppies to the Rescue, a PS1 game. And uh, the, the snow level that we didn't get to in that uh, short series actually is, well, it has a ice snow sliding minigame. Hi, Spiral, uh, enjoying the endless abyss to your doom. That's very nice, you ran out of time. Good, there's a time limit, otherwise I would have had to, you know, leave the level and come back to the area. In my opinion, a lot of these areas, they're like sub-levels, because there's only ten level or nine levels in this game, there were going to be more, but, uh, like, like the other Spyro games have, like, 20 levels or 15 or whatnot, uh, so each, each area, especially when it comes to the speedways, 
those would usually be their own level in a separate game, but since they're themed, they fit within a nether level, so it kind of... ...works that way. Do that again. Oh, were those flags actually yellow? Okay. I think those flags were yellow, and I was just. Okay, we won by a landslide. How did you take my fl flame breath away, buddy? Your B button is a little broken there, though. It says it says Utten, Utten, and Utton. Very impressive slide work. Here, I found this dragonfly wandering around down here. Is his name Utton? <laughs> hey, it's cute. Bird. <laughs> Sparks. Would you like to try our peaceful slide again? Okay, I guess I guess what happened there was they they couldn't get him back for dialogue, so they had to have Sparks fill in for him. Yeah. Unless that was Tom Kenny, which in that case I wouldn't really understand because Tom Kenny does voices for freaking Spire the Dragon, so you know. Okay, how is this any harder, Sparks? Uh, do I just have to do it a little more? Okay, yeah, the time is probably shorter in this case. Alternatively, I took a different route this time. Oh. Holy crap, I'm really going fast now. Oh. I think one of these flags are yellow. Maybe I was saying things. Impressive. Shut up. Probably the case. Although I'm pretty sure that some routes probably give you more. Uh, you have to actually jump there, Spiral. How long did this... I mean, seriously, how many people... How long did this take? And uh, they would have frozen their asses off. They would have died. They would have got uh, frostbite, that sort of thing. But to build this sort of structure, and they, on top of it, because this is ice, they would fall, fall down, you know? And they're monks, too, so... Yeah. Well, not that that means anything. They're just monks. They're special, I guess. I don't know. Oh. Well, guys, welcome back. Uh, I fell again, and... Impressive, most impressive. one shot this again. Okay, so on the left route, on the first turn here, there's a first split. You definitely want to get to the left because there's like four flags right put together. And, you know, it gives you one, two, three, and three or something. You know, so you get a huge time bonus from that. But you can't miss a single flag, pretty much. I mean, you probably can miss one. If it's one second, you know, you want to go over this side, you want to go to the left. Uh, sometimes you'll do that, but uh, there's enough up here to make up for it. Avoid the penguins. Get all of these. All of these. All right, good. Good to go. All right, guys, we're going to go over here. I'm channeling Sparrow Jam now. Don't hit the penguin. Well, okay, the penguin didn't. Yeah, those flags are yellow. I'm pretty sure those are yellow. Oh, I almost missed that. Okay, I was right. We would one-shot this in an epic victory. We actually got the second dragonfly. You saw it all before your eyes. Uh, talk to monkey, guys. I'm, I said the monkeys. They kind of remind me of Agent 9, actually. Very impressive slide work. Here, I found this dragonfly wandering around down here. The same thing you said. 
Prancer, Vixen. You can always come. I'm sorry. I will cut that back Would in. Like to try I got peace to do. Again. Okay. I have to, I have to do come that all over. You can always come back to practice the slide if you like. We find it quite calming after a hard day of meditation. Would you like to try our peaceful slide again? Okay, come back anytime. Not, you can't get that dialogue without actually doing the entire challenge and winning it. Especially the second time around because it's not too hard actually once you know what you're doing. You just can't miss any. That was a nice uh, break. You know, mentally I just kind of I didn't say much because my my brain just broke down and the fury of it. Okay, I think we want to go back actually. I don't know what the heck I'm doing here actually. Which way goes back? Hey Doc, which which way goes back? You know, back to the the the, the, the you know. Every level in Spiral uh, in Spiral 3 in this game go, you know, they go around in circles, so there's got to be a way to get back to the, the end, you know? Is this oh, okay? Maybe this is actually one thing I didn't like about the level. Okay, here we go. Never mind. This will go back to the, the end of the level. Here we go. We're going to do the rocket now. Let's see what the rocket does. 